Um, today was a great way to um, close out 2023. I'm just in happy that 2024 is here. <laughs> I'm ready to get rid of 2023. But no, for our team, I think it's good. We we were 11 days off and to come back and just kind of get the kinks out. And we've actually improved on some things we needed to. And I wanted to see how we'd respond after that, a tough loss in Phoenix against Gonzaga and then a break, you know, four day break. It was, it was a pretty long Christmas break, I think four or five days and then not playing for another week. So I think it was a good um, game going into the Pac-12, which is going to be very challenging. Well, you, say, you know, it seems like you may have gotten over that hump with the letdown between mm -hmm. the second quarter and the third quarter. Um, you, you did put on like a full court press during that time, so yeah. it seems like you're finding ways to help them keep that intensity up. Yeah, I, I think one thing I can do a little bit better is like just. Um, letting them come out a little bit sooner. And I think sometimes there was a challenge because when you give a little bit more time, then they're going to the bathroom and doing stuff. So I think me just being more intentional where they go to the bathroom and we go in and then, you know, we kind of, we gather and talk and watch some, some clips and stuff as a staff and just probably giving them more time because we're young. And then so they're not walking out there talking and then starting the game. I think giving them time to go out and like shoot and I, I have to be more intentional about that because even today we, we weren't able to do that. And I think that's one of the reasons why are, we've been really flat. Not an excuse, but just for a young team, just just being a little bit more structured than that. Um, early on Friday, I guess it was, you said that you were get, still getting injury reports. So uh, was Sully, I'm assuming, was hurt, and uh, was was as was her health restricted today? Or? Yeah, a little bit. Not She's fine, but yesterday it was. Um, but yeah, her and then Sally. And then Sally, you know, just had another incident in practice. So she was just going to be out like a couple more days. So that's just kind of been the continuous problem because it is what it is until it's repaired. So um, I think that was a challenge. And then, you know, it's Aaron. It's, I feel so bad for Aaron to come with us and be here like a week and then get injured. And then she kind of re-injured it a little bit. So all that in the last few days, I was like, oh, this is going to be a great 2024. So come on. Um, but And it's just... It's um, just the, the situation we're in now because of the numbers. If you have 12, or if you have 15 and you're down to 12, it's like when you're then Monte at the beginning of the year. It's just a lot. And, I mean, in my career, in my eight years here, we had never had an ACL. Monte is the first. I know Lauren had the dislocated kneecap and last year and had to have, she had elective surgery, um, which held her out. But I had never had any injuries that held someone out. You know, Kate had the shoulder but then got it repaired at the end of the year. So it's just it's just uncharted territory for me, and, and practice is challenging. So it's really hard, like not having numbers, because when you have such a small roster, you can't have a lot of repetitions in practice, because you won't sustain that. Because sometimes practice, the lows are heavier than games. And so now it's just I mean we've been going like we went like you know 45 minutes yesterday, so really short. So having the balance of that and getting better is is hard, especially when you don't have practice players because school's out right now. So I think that's going to be a challenge for us for a while because, you know, there's a chance that Sally can be in and out for a while and Aaron might be out some time. So it's just like, you know, that's just the way the, the everything goes. The dominoes fall. Like, you know, you bring a walk on, she gets hurt. And then Sally and then – so it's just keeping everybody else healthy too. So when these games get kind of rough or it goes either way, I, I probably will have to hold people up. Like today, all the foul trouble. So we have to be a little bit more disciplined. A lot more discipline. Was that from the Gonzaga game when she got flipped up and fell on her tailbone? No, she just had little, like, just little bumps and bruises, and and it's just not practicing people really hard when they get back. You know, like Courtney today, it was you saw she was out for a few minutes because she had a bloody nose like that, so then had a headache. Those are just things that can happen. But I think, you know, the things like shoulders or the ankles like Kayla this is random but Kayla the other day you know her fingernail <laughs> but like it's just painful but then you got to get an x-ray to make sure it's no nerve it's just random things that I'm just like whoa like what's going on so like you're kind of in practice like okay let's go light you know because we can't afford to lose more people so it's just kind of um, the way it is but like I told the players you guys should be happy because for you guys like everybody's gonna play and you're gonna play through some stuff so from a player's perspective and so many teams have won with seven players. And in the Pac-12, your rotation is seven. Any top team. There isn't any team that plays a, a solid rotation of ten. Um, not when you're getting to play your, the best teams and ranked teams. Um, you're going to have a rotation of seven, maybe eight. So it's kind of what it is. How do you evaluate this non-conference 
play as a whole? Um, I think that it was a hard non-conference, the hardest we've had since I've been here. Um, we played two of the best not, um, mid-major teams in the country. Um, so it's good. It doesn't hurt us. I think it prepares us. But knowing I had such a limited roster, I would have scheduled differently. But hindsight's always twenty twenty. I think the adversity we faced and losing games, having to play another good opponent, that's been like stuff that I think will help us in the future. Um, in these tough games, back to back to back, I think will help us for the Pac-12 because it's going to be tough every weekend. So I think those things are good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, I think ideally as a coach and when you're looking at scheduling, you're looking at the net, looking at positioning for the tournament, you ideally want to win nine games in the non-conference at least. So I think we're right at that. But before we would win 11 or 12. So this year, but we've lost to good teams. We haven't, we haven't lost any game to any – we haven't lost any game we shouldn't have lost. Like, you know, on the road, like we – you know, in state, like – we're not ranked right now. We're younger. Like Gonzaga is a little bit better. Um, UNLV is a little bit better right now. So, and that's on the road. So I think there's no loss that people are going to be a loss that would hurt us, but not loss as you want. Um, and I think going into the Pac-12, we really have to win at home because on the road, it's going to be hard. So you ideally, I mean, think about how hard it's going to be to even split every weekend in the Pac-12. That's going to be really hard. So I think for any, any team, um, especially a young team, to, to be 500 in the Pac-12 is going to be challenging for anybody. So there is no bad team. So, you know, so hopefully the non-conference has prepared us as good as we can um, for the Pac-12. What would you say, I mean, you look at Courtney, she was a spark off the bench. Mm -hmm. um, she had five steals and um, she was just everywhere. She was on the ground get, trying to get balls. She, she was just getting her hands on a lot of things today. Is this what you expect to see from her? Yes, um, I think she's very capable of doing that. I think that she she can be a defensive stopper. I think the things that just to teach her and the things that she's learning is just the discipline on when to do what. So on the ball, even she's great. I think teaching her and Kaylin and Jada, like there's certain positions where you don't help off of because it, it leads to a three. And maybe it didn't today, but it will on Friday. So I think understanding that, like when to double, when not to, what position you are, like we don't do it off the strong side stuff like that. So I think a little bit more discipline, when to not go for reaches and give up a drive. I, the, our guards need to improve in that sense because as we play more experienced guards, it'll really hurt us. And I think that you saw so many fouls, like we were fouling a lot. I mean, they, the refs were calling a lot of fouls, but there was a lot of fouls to be called. And I don't think they even called all of them. So when you're watching the game, you're like, oh, it's too many. But like, we can't slap down every time someone goes to the basket. So those discipline things, like we have to get better at. Um, when we have an assignment and we're doing something, we have to have both parties doing it, not just the guards doing it, not the post. So just the repetitions, it tells me we're not there yet. And you pay against the Gonzagas, the UNLVs, the Colorados, Utahs. You don't pay tonight or today, but I think that we do, there's some areas that we really have to get better. But we are improving. Um, a player like Skyler, who um, maybe in high school she, she was scoring, but she's, she's doing other things, you know. What, what do you see in her development? Um, Skyler's going to be a great player. Um, I think the, the part for Skyler where she has to mature in and is just like the, the not being so hard on herself. I think we're always our worst critic, but she's extremely hard on herself. And she gets down really fast. And I think as she learns to be just more mentally tough and, and not like weigh everything so heavily, like whether it's a missed layup or or a mistake on on-ball defense, like that's okay. Go get the go get more motivated to get the next possession versus hanging in your head. Because you guys even see it, she's like, oh. And like those are things that are going to happen. It's okay because she does so many great things well, and I don't think she understands the great things she does well. But that's a process of learning, and I think that um, she's going to be really good. She's like our best athlete. She's one of our most explosive players, and she has a chance to be really special. But we just have to continue to work with her on that. Like tonight, she was just down. She made some mistakes. She didn't play bad, though. She didn't score, but she didn't play bad. Like that's the way. So understanding that everything's not predicated on that, and you can do so many other things that maybe don't show up and still have a good game. So I think getting her to understand it, and I have to show her those things. deflections and those are those help your team the energy her presence up there her athleticism in the passing lane like those are things where just because you didn't score doesn't mean you, you played bad you know what I mean so I think she has to learn that 
And just we have to continue to show her on film and we're going to continue to work with her every day in skill because she can be really special. And uh, she knows we believe in her. And I, I, I mean, I, she's great. Like she's someone who I want to really develop and I want to watch her grow. And you just don't know how much she's grown since the first time. Like when she got here, she had a tough time fundamentally with a lot of things. She's improved. So she's learning and getting better. But just like not being so hard on herself will be an area where she, if she did, when she corrects that, she will, her game will take like, huge steps forward. Talk a little bit about coming off of that 11 days, basically, without yeah. a game. Um, as I was saying before, you, we noticed that it was a little slow in that first yeah. quarter, right? And they were <laughs> low gas, too. Yeah. And so tell, tell us a little bit about, you know, mentality-wise, what do you say to your team to get that, that spark going again, to get over that hump, to get them to have a second quarter like you had? Yeah, I think just talking about just doing the little things and just giving them... Um, things that you can apply and like that we have to focus on. So like our aggressiveness in certain situations, our attention to detail, like talking about those things we talked about. And then just in the game, you know, when they're tired, kind of get them subbed in and out because they were they were a little bit gassed because it's been a minute. Um, and, you know, not everybody did everything the whole break. Some people needed a little break. Um, so just talking about that and talking about there's going to be rust and we don't have like a, a, a lot of people. So it's really important to do the little things right, like boxing out. And it's not about today, it's about preparing for the future and getting better. Because you may not pay against, you know, someone today, but you're gonna play Peely and All-American, you know, this weekend. Or, you know, just some a really good Colorado team. So it's, I think it's just us about us and being disciplined and like one possession at a time. I think, you know, and, and today, like, like us not having Solly hurts us. Solly is productive. Sally comes in off the bench and scores 10 points a game and is physical, strong, so we didn't have really a forward sub. And there's one, so think about, it, like, Isis, I started two fives today. So typically, um, like, let's say as Mary's at the four, we don't have any forward subs, so that's going to put us out of position a little bit without Sally. So hopefully Sally's back next week, but my thing is whatever it is whatever position you need to play like we'll do some things where you'll be successful and we'll adapt like if we have to double inside or if we have to or they have to guard us on the perimeter too if we play four guards so i think just giving them the confidence and um you know it could be rusty but these are things we have to get better at today and i think they did a good job of that so ari is injured mm -hmm. have you had a chance to talk to her i have what I've do been, you think i've had about a rough few days um for six weeks. Or is her shoulder again? No, she tore a, what I think is a ligament or something. Yeah, they said a minor tear in her knee. In her knee. Like a meniscus? Yeah, she. I didn't know that. She was going after a um, missed free throw and she sort of bumped into the opponent and went down. And as soon as she went down, you knew. Yeah, I'm going to have to call her. I didn't know that. And Aries, like, never doesn't pop up. And Aries, like, doesn't, it's her shoulder, but she's never had another injury. So, yeah, I'm glad he told me that. I need to, um, but hopefully it's just a scope. And then, well, and it might be a situation where she can, I don't know if she needs to end up getting her shoulder fixed, but it might be something where she can kind of repair both of it. It's just a scope. Aerie's tough and strong, though, so Aerie getting injured is just rare. Our bodies, though, it takes a toll when you're playing so many years. And, yeah, so I hope she's okay. I love it. I love you, Aerie. I actually just texted her the other day, but I didn't know that. So thank you for telling me that. Okay, thanks.